say to Vladimir Putin's threat of I say war. to you, be quiet till I speak, okay? That's what I say. Good idea? Well, what do you say to Vladimir Putin's sir? threat of war, sir? It's a well, serious I, threat. I, you got to be quiet. I'm going to make a statement here, okay? All right, anyway, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Welcome back to the White House. Often said, there's no issue of global consequence where the United States and Great Britain can't work together and haven't worked together. And we're going to discuss some of these things right now. You first, Ukraine. I want to thank you for, uh, for the U U UK's leadership in this front. The United States is committed to standing with you to help Ukraine as it defends against Russia's onslaught and aggression. I'm clear that Putin will not make it clear Putin will not prevail in this war, and the people of Ukraine will prevail. Second, the Middle East. Yeah. Today, we'll discuss our work to secure a deal in the Middle East to release the remaining hostages that are held, being held by Hamas, bring an immediate ceasefire, and increase the flow of humanitarian aid to Gaza. And thirdly, we're going to be talking about the Indo-Pacific, no reason more important, our future. And I'm so proud that under our AUKUS partnership with Australia and with, with Australia, the last three years, we've made the region more free, open, and secure. So, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you again for being here, and I look forward to our conversation. Mr. President, thank you very much for those words. Thank you for the invitation to be back here just two months after our last meeting here. And it's really important to us, great allies, that special relationship, to have this time to talk about the global issues you have just identified, starting, of course, with Ukraine, where I think the next few weeks and months could be crucial, very, very important that we support Ukraine in this vital war of freedom. Um, and so I look forward to discussing that with you. The Middle East, of course, again, vital over the coming weeks and months and elsewhere in the world. I think that historically we've shown the strength of our relationship, that we are strategically aligned, uh, we have common cause on these global issues, and therefore it's very important us, uh, for us to have this opportunity to talk them through, not just um, as a matter of tactics, but also the wider strategy that underpins them. So, thank you for the invitation. It's very good to be here again. Good to have you back. What do you say to Vladimir Putin's threat of war, Mr. President? I don't think much about Vladimir Putin. Mr. Do you take that threat seriously? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President.